College tuition is on the rise here at Wartburg and around the nation. WTV's Andrew Bridgewater has more on what are some calling a student debt crisis. The 10 most expensive schools in the U.S. all cost over $55,000 when you include room and board. Six of those schools are in New York, but if you look at the state where college students have the most debt, it's not New York, it's New Hampshire, and in second is Iowa. Wartburg senior Drew Stradle is graduating Wartburg with a degree in communication arts this May. He is also graduating with thousands of dollars in debt. I'm not sure how much I have in private loans outside of this, but I know that I have $27,000 in loans just at Wartburg. This is about the average debt for an Iowa college graduate. The average student graduates from an Iowa college with just over $29,000 in debt. However, according to the Iowa College Student Aid Commission, on average, a Warper student has over $38,000 in debt. This is higher than any other Iowa Conference college in the state. And compared to the region's schools, a Warper student, on average, has more than $11,000 of debt. I always wish the average were lower. More importantly, I wish uh, it were lower for every single student who has debt. Even though on average Warburg students have almost $39,000 in student loan debt, the debt is spread out over 10 or 20 years, making it more manageable. On average, over 90% of Warburg students graduate in four years. Those students who enter the workforce right after Warburg earn around $40,000 in their first job. If you look at the value that you get, $30,000 of debt on average um, is worth, uh, in my opinion, um, roughly, you know, a million to two million dollars more over a lifetime of earnings. But for right now, the class of 2012 sees a bill they have to pay six months after graduation. I'm worried because it's just one of those expenses that I'm going to have to see you for a lot of years to come. And according to research conducted by the College Board, the net tuition price paid by students when you compare inflation to financial aid has gone down by about $400 in the last five to seven years. 